Hello everyone. I'd like to share with you a few trades posted on Friday, September 30th by our graduate students and global instructors. This is a clip from AP who's uh, showing uh, trades on Euro USD using Forex broker. Uh, he's shorting that because the uh, structural and also trading charts are aligned and we see downtrend in both channels. So he's taking pullbacks and exit repeatedly uh, according to the PAT ALGO 1 to 3 and also 3 to 5 and entry signals. So these are the trades he's, he has taken and thank you very much for sharing your trades AP with us. This trade shared by Castro, our global instructor, shorting US 30, which is Dow Jones Industrial Average CFD, and we are in downtrend. And as you see, he entered in this area with the stop loss here of above and two targets below. So thank you, Castro, for sharing your trades with us. Uh, these are a few trades uh, posted and recorded live by Yan, our global instructor. He's trading micro NASDAQ futures. And as you see here, there were several opportunities to short uh, when the probability was high and the three time frames were aligned. And he's showing another entry that was recorded live uh, based on the pullback that got completed. And we see the price find its way to the previous support area. As you see, TK and YSC is not here active. That means he's trading out of New York market. So we watch his trades now. And this is the result. It shows that he gained a profit factor of 23, which is very good, with the 77% win rate and average win to loss ratio of 6.8 which is very good uh, with very a small drawdown so that's great and thank you very much Jan for sharing your trades with us so these are a few trades that I have taken at the beginning of New York market session uh, you see uptrend uh, when the three charts are aligned and the macro shows rejection at the previous support area so because the momentum is good and is strong, I'm adding position and managing that actively. And uh, so ATM of Ninja Trader automatically close the trades and also I can manually add and uh, remove positions and close it. So these are limit orders that I uh, set it to close it sooner when the momentum is not as strong. So we are close to the economic release at 9.45. So I'm just taking last few trades before I stop trading and let the news pass. We're reaching the previous resistance area, so the momentum is getting lost and I'm not trading anymore at this level. And as I said, now the PMI, uh, Chicago PMI news is due at 9.45. So, so it's 9.43 before the PMI news release. And that's uh, kind of uh, economic uh, release that can cause high volatility. Here I came back again later uh, and took several trades again in the same direction uptrend so I'm taking again uptrend position because it's all aligned and the momentum is good everything indicates that the news was positive and had good impact on the equity markets we're getting again close to the uh, upper range on the one minute chart and also on five minute charts you see we're reaching a consolidation area and resistance 
So buyer's momentum is getting lost. And if this trend line breaks, that means that the momentum is lost. This is a, a momentum range analysis. So it's risky and I'm not taking trades anymore, long position, because we are in this area. And anytime the sellers can come back and force the price to go down. So I let the momentum of downtrend accelerate and gain a strength and enter the gain here several short position now that I see the buyers are back I'm taking the last positions here is a few more trades that I have taken at the end of uh, New York session and as you see the profit and profit factor is around 3 74 percent win rate and average win to loss ratio 1 to 1 hope these trades are useful for you and let us know if you have any questions have a wonderful day and weekend.